Hi guys, welcome to Tackle Tarts. Down on Ladywood again. I'm down for 48 hours this time, so I've got a bit longer than I normally do. And um, hopefully it's looking good. Did plenty of fish over the weekend, probably around 50, maybe even 60 fish. Uh, Keith next door's had eight today. Just managed to get all the rods in. It's uh, around half past six. And um, I'm going to be here for the next 48 hours. Probably going to stay in the same swim. It's going to get very busy. Uh, plenty of people coming on apparently, so I've heard. So uh, I'll stick at it in this swim, I think. I'm in peg two. Um, fish around this side quite a bit, so uh, you should recognise it from the other films. And I've uh, brought plenty of bait with me. So hopefully at some point I'll be putting some of that in. If the wind dies down, I'll try and spam it out because uh, I've got plenty of pellet with me and that's what's been doing the business. Beds of pellet, beds of boilies, all mixed together, fishing over the top with a few boilies and um, hopefully I manage to bag a few fish. So I'll uh, get on and make it some tea and then um, sit out and watch the water for a bit see if I can see any more morning, fish guys. showing. Cracking wake up call this morning. 12 and a half pound common. That's my first fish. I actually managed to lose one at 11 o'clock, I was absolutely gutted, I was kicking myself for losing one. But uh, first slack this morning, and the middle rod tore off. Changed over the middle rod to an orange pop-up last night, and uh, went off straight away. So uh, orange is definitely the colour at the moment. All the last bites were on orange, the like last time we came. And this time I've had two bites on orange as well, so I think I might kick a bit of bait out today. Get the spam out, do a bit of spamming, and uh, See if I can't get any more of these uh, beauties on the bank. It's a well, cracking little fish, it's the right poser as well. <laughs> so uh, we'll stick it back and uh, see if I can't get any more. We are guys, my second fish. Just managed to get him 16 and a half pounds on a solid bag presentation over three kilos of pellets. So I'll flip the rod back out now, see if I can't get any more, and uh, slip this beautiful fish back. Coming down into my final evening now on the lake, just gone past 8 o'clock and I'm just thinking about redoing the rods ready for the night. The rods are all going out in the old solid bags. This is how big I tie mine. I showed you in the last episode how to tie them. But, uh, that's how big they are before they go out. Not very big at all, just enough food to get a bite basically. My right and middle rods are both over a bed of bait. Got up early this morning with that fish. And I ended up uh, not getting back to sleep, obviously, so I just sort of decided that I was going to spawn a bit of bait out, get a bit of bait down on the deck, and I put three kilos out. Um, in the end, it was a mixture of boilies and, a, and pellets. It was mostly pellets, to be honest, but 
definitely did it definitely helped I think because it did the fish and it was the only fish out this afternoon there was a nice 30 pound 9 ounce mirror out this morning I just took pictures for and a uh, cracking looking fish absolutely immaculate and uh, I wouldn't mind getting amongst one of those big ones myself tonight hopefully fingers crossed it'll happen guys my third fish of the session I just managed to sneak him out just off the point to my left hand side fish just started boxing out there and I knew the rod had to go and this uh, 14 pound on the dot mirror was the fish that had the bait I would have sworn if I lost it it was massive give me a great fight it ran me ragged all around the swim but uh, that's what you expect from these uh, relatively new fish so we'll slip him back and uh, send him back to his watery home to hopefully fight another day and I'll get the rod back out just before it gets dark. It's about 10 to 10 now. Got another maybe 20 minutes or so of light and it'll start going dark then. So uh, get the rod back out quick while I can see my spot. What a cracking looking fish. There we are guys. Typical Ladywood morning bite. Just after first light. 11 and a half pound common. I've taken over the baited area this one. and. Uh, Rod's been out there over 12 hours. I found that's the key at the moment. Not to recast too often. Keep keep the baits in the water until the fish come to you. There's a plenty of plenty of people keep refreshing the baits far far too often I think. And uh, these fish know what's up when there's leads crashing around. And uh, they definitely move off. So uh, hopefully the few fish still showing. Hopefully I can still bag a few more today. So uh, we'll slip this little fella back. Let's see if we can't get one one of his big sisters. Alright guys, it's uh, getting on for uh, 9 o'clock now and uh, I've had the rods out all, all night, most of the most of the night and uh, I managed to get a take after maybe the rod was in the water for about 12 hours on the right hand rod that fish this morning which is uh, obviously what's doing it but uh, the sun's come out today so um, I put both, oh, well, all three rods out on zigs actually um, just all the depths a bit, got one at 14, four, one at 12 and one at 10 um, they're all fishing in different depths of water though, so it's like com completely covering all the layers. And they've all got a different kind of bait on, uh, just different coloured foams on the Fox Zigger liners. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> Zig will do the business. There's not been much action today. It's been one run uh, off this bank, and the rest of the lake's actually been really dead. So uh, hopefully, I'll be able to wink one out on a Zig. But, I mean, it's proper high pressure at the moment, so uh, we'll have to see. Proper suited to Zig conditions and hopefully one of them always off. Alright guys, come to the end of Tackle Tarts, unfortunately. Uh, not managed to get any fish. Um, I know Graham next door, he's had a nice fish, proper nice linear. So I'm really happy that he's caught. And um, unfortunately I'm going to have to leave it here. Uh, hopefully I'll be back fishing soon. I'm sure we'll be back working at Carp Talk very soon, so hopefully I'll be doing a few nights in between work. I'll be able to film those. So uh, until next time, tight lines, and I'll see you. See you soon.